Hi everyone, this is Peter Hassan. In today's video, we're going to simulate our second project. And today's project is about an elevator system with load limit detection. Uh, in this project, I've used Arena Bird uh, Achmega 328P microcontroller, and um, I have a load cell uh, together with the amplifier, which is HX 711. Um, I have a DC motor uh, together with the L298 motor driver. Uh, this driver will allow me to control the direction of the DC motor. We are going to see how it works. I have three push buttons here. Up, uh, push button, then back. This will be used to move the motor in up direction and this button will be used to move the motor in uh, reverse direction or down direction and this button here stop button will be used to stop the motor LCD uh, will be used to display uh, the weight measured by the lot cell how the project works um, the movement uh, of the DC motor uh, depends on the amount of the load uh, on the elevator when the load is above uh, 600 kilograms, then the user will not be able to to <clears throat> to move uh, the motor in up or down direction. Uh, but if the the load is below 600 kilograms, then the user can move uh, the elevator in up and out uh, and down direction. Let's see the cards. This is the card that uh, I've used. Okay, as you see, here's a library for the amplifier, uh, library for liquid crystal. Then I have uh, defined the calibration factor. Uh, this is the very, very specific value. Um, different manufacturers have different uh, calibration factor value for the lot cell. So you need to check it. Uh, okay. Uh, some pen definitions here weight uh, variable weight which will be used to store the weight measured by the lot cell we got uh, two object file here is scale and LCD I've created three functions here the function to move uh, the motor in up direction the function to move the motor in a downward uh, direction okay and the function to stop the motor in the set of function i've just uh configured my pin uh output and input pins okay and also initializing some objects lcd here in the skull okay okay uh, this statement here is uh, is used to set this call uh, in a calibration range uh, in the low function, I've started by getting the readings from the lot cell using uh, get units function S and assign them to the variable weight. Uh, okay, the words weight measured is displayed in the LCD together with the weight measured. Okay, the f here the function or the condition if weight is greater than 60 kilograms, then the motor will stop. Uh, using this top it function else if uh, uh, the start or up button is pressed then the motor will move in a forward direction which is up direction or upward direction and um, and reverse function is called here together with m stop it function the reverse function uh, as you see here if uh, the bit stop which is back button is pressed and it will check whether the weight is greater than 60 the motor will not move else uh, the motor will be moved in a downward uh, direction and this um, stoppage function here if the digital read button stoppage is pressed then the motor will stop at distant let's see how it works as you see here Currently, uh, lot cell reading is 0, 0.0 kilogram, 
which is the same weight uh, displayed on the LCD. If someone presses this up button, the motor will move in uh, upward direction, as you see here. Uh, also, the user can reverse the direction of the motor. As you see here, the motor changes the direction. And also, he can stop the motor from moving. Okay. So, uh, the condition was if, uh, if the reading from the load cell is less than 60 kilograms, then the user can uh, move the elevator in upward and downward direction using the push buttons. As you see here, if I press this up button, the motor is moving. Also, if I press this backward button, uh, the motor is rotating in a reverse direction. But if, uh, let me stop it first, if the load cell reading is more than 60 kilogram, if I press the button, nothing is happening. Because now the condition is false, so the stoppage function is called. Okay, if we reduce the the readings now, uh, if somebody presses the button, the motor will stop moving again. That's how the project is uh, supposed to work. Thank you guys for watching the video. Just subscribe to my channel for more uh, project simulation. In the next video, I'll be talking uh, about another exciting project. I think uh, you are going to like it. Just subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your support, guys. Thank you for watching the video.